Hi guys, I'm coming to you with a video on advice for pregnant women with natural hair. Speaking from experience, I'm pregnant. And this just came up in my mind because it's been going on for quite a while. I've been natural for, as you know, two years plus, plus, plus. And I'm pregnant. I'm about five, I'm five months going into six now. From about month two, my hair became a nuisance. It's been very unruly. It's been very stubborn, very dry, very thick, very frustrating. Guys, it's, um, there, there are so many times when I've seriously held those shears wanting to just chop off all these locks just <laughs> I'm telling you it's frustrating to constantly have to keep up with that when your body is going through a lot of changes and I had an awful morning sickness episode for about four months the first four months I was out and just it my body just wasn't working you know and it's not like I was puking or anything. I just had these terrible chronic headaches. Uh, everything tasted icky. I didn't want anything that I needed. It was terrible. So, that with a lot of changes, with anxiety, excitement, you know, a lot of planning that's in the works. And then I have to deal with this. I was getting very frustrated. So my advice to pregnant women with natural kinky hair that does that desires and requires a lot of attention is to get rid of it. And what I mean by get rid of it, hide it. And what I mean by hide it, hide it from your hide it from yourself. If you're gonna get a weave, get a weave, sew it in, get like those hairstyles where your hair is just put up for a long period of time so you don't have to constantly deal with it on a daily basis or every other day or every week get get yourself some weave get yourself on a braid craze get yourself on something that'll keep this away from you because you're gonna cut off that hair Stay away from color. I, I di actually dyed my hair. <laughs> I colored my hair at month five, at month four, I think. I did. I did. I'll insert a picture with the highlights that I had in my hair. And they were beautiful. Three weeks after that, I hated it. Your mind is constantly changing as to what you like, what you don't like. What you want, what you don't want. You use because then it sounds... Yeah. But then you are. You don't, you don't know what you want. But you do. Yeah, that sounds mean, but it's the truth. You know it's true. One moment you want this, and the next moment you hate it. So guys, just protect your hair from yourselves. Protect your hair from yourselves. Bye.